Anyway, you guys, all these beautiful jewelries are in collections. If you like anything, if you want to customize your name, if you want to customize the name for your baby, for your daughter, for your child, for anybody, for yourself, please contact me. I'm your surest plug. If you have party that you want to go to, I'm your surest plug. You see this wig that I'm wearing? It's from Ali Glamzo. It's braid. It's wig. Oh, you can see it's wig. It's Ali Glams. You just pop it on your head and it's so full. Who lets you care about you? Eh? Who we'll have the time to be sitting and doing all these braids? Nobody. So, if you like this braid, just contact Ali Glams. Ali Glams, Ali Glams, Ali Glams. And she will hook you up. So, let's go to my story today. Okay. All right. Oh, my gosh. Looking like a multi-millionaire. All right. Hey, guys. Good afternoon. Welcome to my channel. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fine. My lashes is about to come off. Oh, God. Please, not this time. Please. I need you to stay there. All right. I think it's there. I just need the lashes to be there for next 20 minutes that I want to make this video. All right. Let's start this again. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. How are you guys doing? I hope all of you are doing great. Please, if you are here, if you've been watching, if you're family, if you're app farms, if you've been here from the beginning, you have not yet subscribed. If you're new, you have not yet subscribed, I am pleading, please subscribe to my channel. If you're new here, trust me, you're going to love your girl. Your girl is full of vibes. Hey, I am full of vibes or different kind of vibes. You'll find, you'll find raw, real life videos on here. If you're new, please introduce yourself in the comment section. Ah, ah, come on, kia, 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 kia. Let's meet, uh, let's meet you, kia, kia. Our farms, they welcome you in the comment section. Please, please subscribe, thumbs up and share. All right. Today's video, you guys can tell from the title. I don't even know how I'm going to put a title. But this is my story. And I don't want to be going around and around. And then, you know, I want to go straight to the point. I want to share my life story with you guys. Some of my stories. Okay, these stories, nobody knows it. It is between me and hobby. And some people do know it. But some people that know it cannot come out here and say it. Because they are wrong they are wrong you know what i mean okay let's get right into it like i said do not forget to subscribe and thumbs up just accept me the way i am right now because i am not composed and i'm i am not the type that that get myself together and think about it or write notes i say things the way it occurs in my brain you know i'm very raw i'm very natural i'm very like i don't have to be saying it but this is who i am for all of you that are new here, for some of you that are, for all of you that are old, my old goodies, my beautiful sisters on here, mommies, you guys know how Abby is. Okay, too much of talking. Let's get right into it. Okay, this is my story. I met my husband in 2009. 2009, we've been dating. We love each other. It's just from the beginning. Like that time when I met him, he needed somebody he needed someone to be talking to. He has a lot of stress. Somehow, somehow, we shall meet, shall we met. Story for another day. Because I think we have a video on here, how we met. So you can refer to that. So we started talking. And um, I went to Nigeria to meet him for the first time. Well, when we met, before we met, we've been talking before he had an accident. He had this accident, like car accident. Very, very big, major accident that claimed two of his loved ones his brother his own brother and one of his boys that um sing with him so he lost two of them and he broke his arm if you see my husband and you will see like there's a mark of like stitches on his arm so anyway um that was like six months after we met that he had this accident so i had to like travel to nigeria so this accident really ruined a lot of things for my husband it's like it started all over again everything you know everything <clears throat> i'm not in a position to like say what happened in his uh, previous marriage day my husband had he has a story <clears throat> a story time that he explained how him and his ex-wife departed i am not in that position to be saying what happened between them no so <clears throat> excuse me i don't know why my voice is cracking all of a sudden 
okay um fast forward to when i moved to when i went to nigeria to see him i spent a month and that was my first time ever after like what i really remember so i went to nigeria i met him for the first time he met me you know we like what we see we like each other we're seeing each other he was already going to see my parents at the time like this is a serious thing he wants to marry me you know so um and then the accident part came in things were really difficult he didn't even have his house like like he didn't have a proper place to live he was staying with his friend just because of his mental health he lost his brother he lost his you know his one of his boys so he needs somewhere to be staying like his friend's place just to, like recover at the time so when i went to nigeria i was seeing him at his friend's place his friend's house you know and um i didn't get pregnant right away i was actually uh, going to Nigeria like almost four times before I got pregnant with Layla and um, it happened. I got pregnant with my daughter. My husband finished building his house. You know, things were going fine. I'm just summarizing the story because this is not the story I want to tell you. I'm just summarizing it. So, and um, now that I have a baby, I want, my parents want proper wedding. We had introduction before I even got pregnant, like a family introduction. You know, Yoruba, they would say, mommy, moe. Um, the family met my husband. Uh, his family met my, sorry. His family met my family. My family met him. His family, you know, introduction, you know. So, um, then I got pregnant with Leila. I had my baby. I started going to Nigeria uh, every year. So when I had Layla, Layla was about four months when I went to Nigeria. I got pregnant again. I was four months, sorry, Layla was four months old when I got pregnant with Malika. So I got pregnant with Malika and my husband was happy. Everybody was happy. My mom was scared because, you know, a baby who is four months and you already get pregnant again. So, but I could not terminate. There's no way I would terminate that baby because when I was trying to get pregnant with Layla, it took me almost five years for me to even get pregnant with Layla. So, mashallah, I have Malika and, sorry, pregnant with Malika. I came here, had the baby. So, when I had the baby, I, my, my parents were like, stressing me. You have to do wedding now. Uh, what's going on? So, Hobby and I, we've been very close, even though the only thing missing is, two things missing, the wedding and then start living together. Because we had, um, we had a plan that He's going to move, not move here. He's going to move here, but he'll be going to Nigeria back and forth. So, now, uh, when, when, this is when the story started. In 2014, when I went to Nigeria to have my wedding, Malika was two months old. So, I was just sitting on the bed randomly, and my husband's phone rang, and I looked at the number, UK number, international number. Oh, and then it didn't pick up because I was just there he left his phone i was just in the living room in the bedroom and the phone kept ringing and the name is i'm not going to mention so the phone kept ringing and ringing and ringing what is my own my husband can receive like 100 calls a day more than that and then because he didn't pick up the phone message came in so i looked at the phone message the first thing i saw was a naked woman when i look at it it was a picture it was a naked woman like doing all kinds of things like uh 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 and i was like ah, what's going on so that triggered me to like pick up his phone go through his phone so i went through his phone i never did that i went through his phone his whatsapp i saw this lady who is from england mind you this lady had two two kids two girls not for my husband probably from his from our previous relationship but what i found out during like the messages i was reading like when i was going through my husband's phone i noticed that he likes my husband and they've been talking they've been talking this lady really really you can tell pushing it on my husband that he really want my husband so i was going through there's lots of pictures different kind of pictures like half naked naked doing all kinds of things you know sending to my husband so he kind of like triggered me like what's going on what is this like where is this coming from i could not hold my temper i call my husband i'm like mr man who is this what's going on who is this person and to, from from my findings i noticed i has two kids i know these kids during like when I was reading all the conversation, they're not yours. But 
why are you like what's going on can you explain because it's like you guys talk almost all the time so my husband very you know my husband is a very honest person and i know what he can do i know what he cannot do i know him can you explain to me because i know he's not cheating but this person seems like he wants to come and ruin our marriage or ruin our relationship you can tell my husband said calm down abby she likes me a lot i don't know how to i don't want to like you know embarrass her i just let her talk i just let her say everything that she wants to say to me i like not like she she seems like she's feeling lonely she seems like she needs someone companionship she need, she needs someone to be talking to so i don't want to like be mean or be rude to her so i just let her i just listen to everything that she always says so i got so upset that okay does he know that we are together my husband said yes does he, does, sorry, does she know that we are together? My husband said, does she know that you're about to get, because I was about to get married to my husband, like our wedding. So, my husband said, don't worry, don't stress yourself about her. She's just somebody that needs companionship. She's just somebody that is lonely, this and that. So, I kind of like accept, but I told my husband to block her. You know, like things like this can get, if you're giving, if you're not telling her to stop, she might be thinking you accept. She might be thinking you want her. She might be thinking you guys are in relationship. She might be thinking a lot of things because she's sending you like almost half naked pictures of her to your phone. Like you're you comfortable looking at, you know, that kind of thing. My husband's like, no, this is not it. Like I don't even open those pictures. You know, he just explained his own part to me. All right. So I told my husband, I don't want her to call you. If you don't stop her, I'm going to call her. I'm going to tell her. You know, so one, so on my wedding day, we were at the uh, event and we had a beautiful wedding. A lot of people were there. I'll say over 500 people were there. So it wasn't like a, a hidden wedding. It was like an open, big ceremony that almost like 500 people were there, I would say. So we had a wedding. So that night, my husband was tired. I was tired. You know, in the bedroom, everybody, we're in the house, you know, we're still partying. Some people were still partying. We're in the bed. This lady just sent another picture. Papa, 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 papa came. He was sleeping. I started looking at the pictures again. Like, what is going on? What is going on? I couldn't want, I didn't want to wake my husband up, so I let him sleep. So the next morning, I told my husband, I was like, this lady, you haven't told her to stop messaging you. Like, I am going to go to your mom and tell your mom that's my husband's but my mother-in-law like what's going on i started getting upset like why you know we just had a wedding I, will, I expect you to like talk to her tell her to stop messaging you your wife doesn't like it this is getting out of end i can't take it like i said it, i like she knows that we got married because it was all over facebook everywhere why is she sending you a picture what is going on are you the father of her kids Da, 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 my husband assured me, like, she just, you know, she's lonely. She doesn't want to be talking to. Da, 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 da. I still have those pictures just in case in future. I still have all the pictures saved um, somewhere. Anyway, fast forward, I left Nigeria. I came to Canada, you know, and we're just doing our thing as before. Like, just talk on the phone. And everything like that. We talk every day, morning, night, afternoon, this, that. Every time we talked. So one time I was on Facebook. I just, you know, wandering around on Facebook. And I saw a picture of my husband, brother's wife. She has posted a, she had posted a, uh, some pictures, like upload pictures on her Facebook. So I was looking at that picture. I was liking it. All of a sudden, because I still remember the face of that lady all of a sudden and she has sent my husband a kid's pictures as well on my husband phone so i still remember what they look like and how i just saw the lady in the background in my husband's house with her two with her two girls her two children at this moment my heart caught at this moment i was in shock I was furious. I was mad. I was already in tears. I was shaking like that in my husband's house from England. Right away, I called my husband. He didn't pick up. He was on stage. He was having, you know, a show. 
I started digging. I went on a profile. I went on a Facebook. It was not um, private. She has landed in my husband's house. Hey. Next thing I call my mother-in-law. May I so rest in peace. May I so rest in peace. I say, mommy, I saw something. I said, she said, no, give yourself assurance. There's no problem. Be rest assured. There's no problem. There's nobody here. I know she's a mother. She will, she won't, she will, she, how do I say? She was trying to like give me rest, rest of mind that nobody is here. Even though there was somebody there. She was like, I got your back. You're my daughter. I will never do anything that will hurt you. Just don't worry. There's nobody here. Even if there's somebody here, don't think they are coming to take your space. Don't think they are coming to... I was like, Mommy, this is not right. I'm sending you a picture of what I saw on Facebook. You're telling me nobody is here. What was she doing there? This is a person that has been sending my, sending my husband pictures from England every single day. Naked picture, half naked. What is she doing in my house? What is she doing in the compound, in my husband's house? That's like, what? why is she there? And then I started digging. All I saw was some of my husband family were taking pictures with her. So she was already into them. Hey, fire. I called my husband. When my husband got home in the evening, I said, Aye, what is this lady doing in your house? My husband said, she's not in my house. I'm like, you don't want trouble. I'm not going to ask you more than three times. Explain to me. Explain. You don't lie. You're a very straightforward person. You're quiet. You're nice. Please, you don't want to see me upset i have so much respect for you please respect me i'm gonna ask you again what is this lady doing in your house my husband said okay she landed in nigeria she landed in a hotel somewhere and she came to say hello to me and the family that was it and she started taking pictures which i believe i believe of course she might because someone that really really wants you know like someone like that <sighs> this lady did everything did everything to take my husband from me she spent time in my husband's house when i was in when i was in canada power with them close with them i will start crying but one thing is i trust my husband i trust him so much that i know he can do that this lady was trying she tried everything my husband will even say, what is it about this Abby that you are talking about? This Abby, this Abby, is she better than me? Because she is very, you know, those, those girls that have big bomb. The bomb is like drum. <laughs> it's like tire. She's this, she's that. She has big bomb. She has that. She will always like, you know, want to entice my, my husband. She tried, you guys. She really tried. I started praying. I started asking God to intervene. Okay, one time I was on Facebook. I just went through my Facebook Messenger or something like that. She sent me a message. I can't even remember what the message said. Oh, your girls are beautiful, something like that. You are beautiful. Your husband is a, this person, that and that. What really hurts me is family. Because of what, she's, what she was giving them at the time. Because of what she would, she would come from UK, buy so many things to entice them. And they would take it. It really hurt my soul. I'm not mentioning names. But in Yoruba, they would say, Kumaro Ki. Lokongo. Kumaro Ki. Me as I am. I will never buy anybody off. And I will advise you. Don't ever. Let love win. Let love win. You know. In my husband's family, there's some people that love me so much. If you see my, if you see my brother-in-law, you would think, you would think we are, hmm, you would think he's my real brother. I love him. He loves me. He respects me. We do fight, but we come back very good. This lady tries so hard to even destroy my brother and his, uh, my, my husband and his brother. He tried my husband. He, he said that, oh, there's no way there. Then he moved to my husband's brother. 
You see, in this life, it's deeper. I don't want to be mentioning it because if I start going through everything, I don't want to open a closed wound. People that don't like me in that family, they really want to like, they want my husband to like, you know, marry her, be with her because of what they get, because of what some people get. You understand? Because of what they give them, those small, small things they give them. But love wins at the end of the day. This lady try my husband, try my brother-in-law, try all of them. It didn't work. You had two girls for what are two men? I be one man, I don't know. And now you're looking for where you want to raise those children. You're looking for a very calm man who is already married. Anyway. So <clears throat> After, he had tr after she has tried my husband, there was no way. Try my brother-in-law, no way. Then she gave up. When my husband got here in Canada in 2018, <laughs> we saw that she was pregnant. When I saw that she was pregnant, you guys, I freaked out. I was so scared. She was flaunting pregnancy on Facebook, big pregnancy like that on Facebook. I think two months after my husband got here, I was so scared. I started asking my husband, like, I know for sure my husband doesn't descend, low, descends that low. This lady is pregnant. She's flaunting on Facebook. My husband's like, what's my own? It's, in, like, it's not my business. It's the kind of person she is. She tries so hard. You know, she tries so hard to, like, you know, give try to like bribe some of the families you try to bribe them she will do shopping bring it to them do this give it to them but love wins i didn't even know she was my friend on facebook until she sent me that message i unfriended her immediately you know trying to look she was even following me on instagram i unfriended her i didn't know Anyways, 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 anyways. This is a true life story. The moral of this video is... How do I even say it? Hold your man. Hold him very, very well. See those women out there, even the ones that have kids, even the side chicks, even all those people, they are ready to take your man. Especially when he has money when he's a good man in this case not that this girl this lady does not have money she's rich she has money like she's okay i'm not gonna say rich she's okay she's okay because she lives in england right she lives in england she, she has a business but she wants somebody she wants a kind guy a cool headed guy like my man find yourself your own husband now leave my husband abby Leave my husband to the extent that you you came from UK two times in my husband's house. Staying in my husband's house. What is my prayer? What is hobby's prayer? What is my mama prayer? It didn't happen. She's finally gone because at least she's pregnant for someone else. I was really scared that she was pregnant. I thought it was my husband. I was like, yay, I hear you. Long story short, my husband is here with me. At the time when I was filing for my husband and my stepchildren, I didn't think I would see today because the, the document immigration was asking, so say immigration did us. I thought I would not see today. I thought my husband would never come here. We had to do DNA. We had to do DNA for Lila and Malika, for the girls, uh, for, the, for my girls and for, um, my husband kids to make sure that it's not fraud look at us today we are happy family i'm still praying no i'm still praying because <coughs> people out there women out there girls out there side cheeks people that want to ruin your your home they are ready to go extra length i didn't know where this girl 
been. She was ready to rule my home. She was ready at the time. But anyway, you guys, I just want to come here and share that story because now it's about what, six, seven years ago, everything she tried to take over my husband, she tried everything. I am so grateful. I am so grateful that I have the best husband because he really, 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 really controlled that situation. He's not a mean person. Like, if you see my husband now, ask him, Alaji, um, like, look into my husband and say, Alaji, please, um, I need it, I have a problem. If he has, if he has that thing, that he, if it's his last meal, last dollar, last anything, he will give it to you. That's the way he is. My husband doesn't know how to say no. And that doesn't mean it, he sleeps around. Like, he is the kind of person that he won't like to embarrass you and make you feel bad. He will just be laughing. <laughs> you say, Abby, what should I do? What should I say? You know what I mean? So, girl, forcing him just because he didn't say no. Just because he didn't want to, like, you know, spoil her mind. So, she was thinking ahead that, ah, Moti Mero, Moti Befon Labata, Moti Yobeti, Mofe J. So, I'm just here today to share this beautiful story. Look, I have my husband now. We are happy. Hold your man, no. Oh. Listen to my husband. It is me, Abby, that's supposed to be doing all these things. I have the opportunity in this Canada. I have the opportunity to be sleeping around. I'm sleeping around. I told my husband, I have never in my life cheated on you, cheated on you for once. Never. Ever since I know you, we met. Omomori, monyo konko. I made videos. Mori, mori, you con con. You know what I mean? Not a lot of women can say that. Not a lot of women can say that. I always tell my husband, you are, you, are, you are the most luckiest man I know when it comes to me. And I can say that again and again. I work hard. I take care of my home. I take care of your kids when you were not here. I take care of myself. I kept myself for you. You don't judge a book by its cover. A lot of people judge me. Even before I met my husband, the way I dress. If you see me, I'm a very happy girl. All right, you guys. Today, oh, we are talking about Abby. Abby. But before we go on, please make sure you're subscribed. Have you checked out our store? Look, oh, all these beautiful jewelries. This is our name necklace. This one is my company name. It's called Abby Fabs. This is my name. This is the only Italian gold that I have on. This pendant alone. My husband got this for me. Um, I was 10 years ago. And everything else is Brazilian. You can see. You can see. If you want to buy fine jewelry, make sure you watch this video to the end. I'll show you all my beautiful collections. So fine. Girl. Beautiful jewelry. And we have Mother's Day outfits too that are just launching. So they will be launching this week for Mother's Day. If you want to look fine for Mother's Day, please contact me. My number is on the screen. It is me that will be talking to you. Hello guys. All right, so I have no launching today, which is the Van Cleef Clovers or Clover Leaves, you can call it. I have different colors. Think of any colors in this world, you guys. I have them. I'm starting with this white gold. This one is Oma. You guys know about you guys know what I'm about to say is Ola TK. I'm all fine budget. If you're a Van Cleef lover, which is what's in vogue right now, if you don't know, these are in vogue. People are wearing this. If you see all the celebrities, both here in Nigeria, Cardi B, everybody, they have this set. They are beautiful. Because the way they are made, they are very, very different. And I have them in beautiful Brazilian gold. It's made with beautiful pure gold. I have them in pink. Girly girly. Omo. When I received the pink, I was literally dancing because I know a lot of people will like pink, like me. If you wear Van Cleef pink, they, you will stand out because really, nowhere really carry the pink color. I have the pure gold as well, which is this one, and the earrings. I'm going to be showing you beautiful earrings that we got in them. You guys, even though I said pink, even though I said gold, this is my favorite color, honestly. The brown one, the camera is not even doing the justice. 
the brown color all fine by them all fine gone and we have this white one of course everyone knows this white one they are like first set that launch when it comes to like uh, the clovers the van cleave everybody loves it but and then uh, all, all the other colors start coming out but talk about colors i have all the colors i have blue i have black i have green i have red but because these are the ones that i'm launching this week so i, I want to show you guys so any color that you can ever think of we even have them in 12 clovers like all around the clovers all around your neck i've shown that before i'm even going to show you here in this video they are all so beautiful anything mean that i anything i sell me or abby anything that i sell to you guys they are authentic three years warranty as always i am not the type that would not take a return or or that will tell you no refund no exchange no i exchange i take uh, return if you don't like what you order okay i want to show you guys the earrings we also have simple earrings you don't have to buy them as a set you can buy them as just the bracelets you can buy them as a set of earrings you can buy them as a necklace by itself so yeah i'm just showing you all the earrings you guys i don't have to talk too much we have the stud on the side here these are the stud black brown red green um blue all colors we have so we have the drop ones as well these drop ones are so beautiful they are so so beautiful we have the three steps um the, uh drop ones we have the two steps we have just a single one stud everything is beautiful okay if you're a van cleave lover this this thing eh <laughs> when i see people open their box on instagram when they buy the van cleave clover um apparel i'm like i'm seeing just single one when you can buy three from us you go and buy one single uh pen and uh, what is it called bracelet for eight hundred dollar nine hundred dollar no i'm not selling it like that though. mine is 65 dollars and you can buy as much as you want 65 dollars and i'm selling the whole set for very affordable this is mine you guys i decided to set mine like cardi b yes i did mine like this i've been wearing this since yesterday and people love it and i did my right hand like this i put on the gold the sparkle gold the brown and the pink and i also did this little things for myself like that on my neck so yeah this is i kind of add my um rolex wash to it on more ah, more work so hard now so i gotta look good so yeah this is it and i'm gonna let you guys see the rest this is all gift ideas for your family for your friends for your co-worker this is the four leaf clovers necklace almost the same as van cleave like there's no difference like absolutely the same very beautiful and the gold that comes with it like the chain necklace that comes with it it's not gonna tarnish it's three years warranty and even it can last more than 10 years i'm telling you this is a gift idea look at this green one with the green and the gold in the middle and the neck and the uh, bracelet absolutely gorgeous we have them in all colors that you can ever think of so anything you like on here you guys Please screenshot it. Our Christmas collections are rolling in and people already start buying. Like people are buying for their families, for their loved ones. And just, you know, put it in the way and put your mind away. And this is a eight uh, leaf clo clover. Um, yeah, this one is eight or even ten. No, this one is a ten one. The round uh, clover around it is ten. And this one is one pendant and then the earrings and then the bracelet with gold around it, you guys. I'm just so wow when I receive my collections like these are beautiful and there's nothing compared to this honestly if you give give someone this they will really appreciate it they will love it they will thank you they will appreciate it. even for yourself if you give this to yourself you will love it on your own self so anything you see on here just screenshot it and send it to us oh it's actually 12 leaf clovers I keep saying it is 12 around it absolutely where are you gonna get this from they're super duper expensive but we are having them for like affordable prices so all of these are very affordable inexpensive comes with warranty i can even say lifetime warranty because they give me that warranty that it's not going to tarnish it's exactly like italian gold exactly like italian gold i'm telling you guys you can put it on your neck and bear with it shower with it these are no collections no supplier they really really went down for me you guys and i love them we have all kinds of color anything you see here just rewind pause 
or uh, pause the video, screenshot it and send it to me. Look at this all gold one. This one I fully loaded because people are going to be on this one. I already started selling out on Instagram and on WhatsApp. I posted on my Instagram and I got a lot, a lot of compliments and people were already start ordering. So I'm so tripped. I'm going to order more for Christmas in case it's all gone. This is the brown one. I sold three of this this morning. Absolutely very beautiful, very gorgeous. I didn't even think the brown would turn out, so I didn't buy too much. But when I receive it, it's very, very beautiful. It looks like gold it looks like i don't even know it looks so so nice and yeah i just want to show you a closer color of the brown i wish i ordered about 40 pieces but i didn't order a lot so you guys if you want it please um message us this is the mix um cream color and gold absolutely gorgeous this one is also fully loaded we are fully loaded for christmas but i can't promise if it if they're gone they're gone right i just want to show you guys a closer look anything you see on here my sis my mom my auntie buy it for your daughters buy it for your sister buy it for your mommy buy it for them they will love it buy it for yourself so yeah um this is a silver color with stones in the middle around it and this is a 12 clo clover 12 clover ones and yeah i love it i also have the silver one myself you guys know i'm not really a fan of white gold but when i see some white gold i love them these days especially when i start selling them they are absolutely gorgeous and yeah we have them in bracelet necklace and i just want to show you guys one on my end i took this one i was like i'm gonna have this one it's really beautiful i saw it on nigerian celebrity i'm like we have it though okay we have it not only celebrity celebrity can wear all this we have them too they buy from us some celebrity even bought from me so we have them too as well so just screenshot pause screenshot and send us your order the number to whatsapp is on the screen sometimes i do forget to leave the number on the screen just check my description box and message me on whatsapp okay you guys i just i know this is a half uh, video but i'm gonna show you guys a full video this is absolutely beautiful this is something that you can give to an older person even a younger person to be honest but if you have like your mom who is like 40 and up 50 years 60 years they will appreciate these you guys i don't have a lot of them in collection because they were so expensive to order but i got at least 10 so if you want to order these roll in your order for christmas let your mommy be surprised let your daughter be surprised on that christmas morning when they open gifts let them be wild you can see the collection this is like beautiful chanel right very 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 beautiful you like it please please just message me whatsapp me you can even put a, a token down to hold it because i know people are going to go crazy for this just like i went crazy when i saw it when my supplier sent it to me i'm like give it to me i want them i want them but when i see the price i'm like okay i'm just gonna like do few for now so if you like this Please roll in your orders because I have a feeling they're going to go by so fast. So I just want to show you guys the clear picture of it. Absolutely very gorgeous, very beautiful. I'm going to show you guys all our uh, um, four leaf clovers uh, pendants. Sorry, these are the pen. Uh, what am I saying? Pendants. Uh, bracelets. These are all the bracelet color that we have in collections. You guys, can you see them? Just pick your color. Which one do you like? I like all of them, to be honest, me. I like all of them and I'm going to have each and every of them because they go with all kinds of outfits when you dress with them, with your wristwatch. Even if it's one that you want to buy, if it's two that you want to buy to give someone, they will really appreciate it. Absolutely gorgeous, very beautiful. And yeah, rolling your orders, you guys. Christmas is knocking. I know people are going to be calling me like two weeks left and saying, Abby, can I get it in one day? Honestly, <laughs> first come, first serve. That's what I'm going to do. So yeah, roll in your order. I keep saying roll in your order. If you like anything here, if you like anything, any color, just send it to us. I'm just showing you, I'm just showing you guys the color of it, how they all look, the green, the red, the blue, everything. So roll in your orders. So yeah, I needed to show you guys our bracelets. You guys, look, look at the LV. You guys, can you see that name brand in it? That's a bracelet, you guys. We are loaded. We are fully loaded. We have all kinds of name brand. Please, if you see anything you like here, 
just screenshot and send it to us i just need to show you guys this one because this was sold out in one day when i um when i got them last time this was ac actually one of my customers i actually ordered this for her and it, it's gone already but we still have more i just need to like show you guys we have more coming it should be coming next week we have more coming so yeah all this lv brand sold out in one day one day so i was like you know what i know people love them i do too we are going to be fully loaded and we are fully loaded and it's already selling out on whatsapp so if you see it here please roll in your order roll in your order as fast as you can because they're going to be gone and you're going to be you're going to miss out because i don't know if we don't because now everyone is bringing in their orders for christmas and everywhere is just going crazy so roll in your order you guys love you guys